my body in the form of dance. My blood, sweat, and tears and my fears. This world is a living hell, yeah, yeah. So when I'm walking, feel like wartime. I see all my struggle, success in one body in the form of dance. Gotta be more than dance. Yo, what's good, everybody? How y'all feeling today? Got everybody in the chat. Got another fire episode for y'all. Crump Talk. Episode four, got that boy Brems, a.k.a. K. Cannon. As soon as you're ready, bro, just send that request. About to add you. There we go. Y'all ready? Let's get it on, y'all. All right, y'all, here we go. Crump Talk, episode four. Let's go. Gang, what's good, bro? Yo, what's going on, bro? And shit, man. Cooling, bro. Cooling. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Fresh off work, you know. Yeah. Another day, another Those dollar, right? Bang. Yeah, man. Couple. First of all, bro, you know, thank you for coming on. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, you know, the Crump Talk episode. This is episode four. You know, I've been doing this a lot. Okay. Usually doing this. Thank you for having me, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, two times uh, a week, but you know, you reached out, so yeah, man. A lot of people been getting a lot of good feedback, and it's just uh, you know, an outlet for crumpers that some crumpers is like wanted a voice to be heard. You know, like I told you earlier, you know what I'm saying. It's also for like, like even if you want to talk about real life shit, bro. It ain't just gotta be that front, bro. Like, if you got some real life positive messages or you got other talents, you know what I'm saying? This is an outlet for you, like, yo, let people come, you know what I'm saying? Let everybody know. Or if you want, even even if you want extra eyes on, like, just you, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, put up your footages, anything, bro. Just, you know, let, you know, everybody know that it's just more than dance or. Is this not the crump community? It's like outside the crump community where people can let y'all know. But you know what I'm saying? We finna jump into it. But you know what I'm saying, bro? Introduce yourself, let everybody know, you know, everything about you, where you from, dance name, all that good stuff. Well, um, my name is A D, but my dance name is Brems, aka Kid Cannon. Um, Little Rock, Arkansas is where I'm from. Um, I've been crumping since uh, on and off, like twelve years now. Mm -hmm. um, man, and but crumping my only style started out doing uh, b boying and pop lock and stuff like that. So ultimately, that wasn't enough for me. So watched my brother Merce um, show me some couple of moves as far as uh, crumb goes, mm -hmm. and then the rest is history. Word, fire, bro. That's fire, bro. So are you currently in Arkansas now, or are you on the West Coast? No, currently I'm, I live in the West Coast right now in Arizona. Okay. Um, shout out AZ Crump. Yes. Uh, dead end run for yes, salute to Arizona. Hey, that's crazy out here, man. Yeah. Tell, tell, kind of explain everybody right now, like the difference between like um, Crump on the East versus Crump on the West. Like, what's been your like different takes on? Oh man, um, this is the, I'm gonna say, well, shoot. <laughs> now me being um from the south and i've actually lived in the east for a while too and then come to the west so it's different on every in every region you know everybody has their preferences and things they you know it makes them uh go crazy uh i just feel like in the south we got more like that that bob that flow you know over over rounds is you're gonna make you're gonna feel how we're dancing mm -hmm. and then you're gonna it's gonna make you want to dance in the in the west, in the west, man, it's it's something different. I ain't gonna lie, 
ever since I've been on the West, I've been getting a whole lot better. Not mm -hmm. taking away from the, what the South, you know, has uh, taught me and given me. But it's, I feel like I, my passion for it, for a crump altogether has grown living on the West because of what it really takes to be top tier here. Right. And that's that's another thing. It, like, different, every region has ways to be top tier in their own way. Here's a lot harder because you got a lot of, you got a lot of, a lot of heavy hitters out here, man, mm -hmm. and well-known heavy hitters at that 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 have the same hunger or passion just as much as you do. So it's really really competitive out here, but I love it, man. I'm adapting, and uh, yeah, man. Yeah, bro, that's fire, bro, man. I've been hearing a lot fire as uh, because you know I'm originally from Cali, but currently right now up here in upstate New York, I've been here ever since 2007, but. You know, originally from Lancaster, so I know the difference. Far oh, okay, yeah, as far as like the West Coast and the East Coast, like I told you uh, yesterday, you know, I don't dance no more, but um, you know, I still got my little homies, and I'm still heavy into crump. But you know, I just uh, okay, uh, I actually I originally wasn't even going to bring crump into my podcast, so you know, a couple of my little homies was like, "Yo, big homie, I think it'll be fire, bro, because you still heavy into crump. You know everybody." It was like, "Yo." Have some crump shit on your own podcast. So I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, man, I shot a little bait out there, bro. And then everything that's been like exploding, man, real oh, good. Yeah. So like I said, man, thanks for coming on the show. So, you know, kind of uh, explain to everybody as far as like you come up into crump, like how you all started, what got it, you know, expire you to start dancing, you know, stuff like that. Um. Okay. This is going to be a crazy story. Um. So I was little. I moved to Baltimore, Maryland. And, um, Salute stayed my uncle a couple of years where um my cousin took me to this um this little this event actually uh, i guess she was you know i never asked her but i, I was going to ask her what she dated crumper there because that's the only way i knew that she even knew about what crump was so she took me to a little event where i saw for the first time i saw theory versus uh theory versus uh truck um crazy long time ago and that's actually my first I, first time I ever seen an event, you know, as far as that 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 scale goes. And I looked, and I was like, man, this is this is really nuts. I used to I was doing some stuff like this down there in the south, but this right here is different from what I was doing because I still didn't understand it, of course. So when I got back to Arkansas, I linked up with my brother uh, Merce and his wife Encore. Um, we were a part of a um, church uh, outreach dance team called Dominion. Um, basically, uh, praise dance in the best way we know how by, uh, you know, um, reaching out to the youth uh, that were our age or even younger and uh, giving them our gifts on the floor and stuff like that. And um, from there, it kind of just spread, you know, Merce uh, opened his uh, eyes to everything outside of Arkansas for us. Mm -hmm. So they can reach out to Texas. And then I think me, I didn't know that Crump existed outside of California. Besides what we were watching and how we grew up, we we didn't have people teach us crumb. Mm -hmm. We actually learned everything from watching YouTube and buying the DVDs. Mm -hmm. and to the point, me and my brother were so connected into crump, we actually dyed our hair red. Yep. <laughs> we dyed our hair red. I had the little juicy burgundy jerry curl. My brother had the wave, but we was at so deep into crump. And so I kind of felt like that was kind of like the, you know, the rise of it all for us. Just seeing the passion and other people around us doing it, and man, then and as far as dance go, dance is such a such a spiritual art. You know what I'm saying? That when you're doing it for the right reasons, you're doing it for the purpose behind it. It's always good intentions. Then people are gonna feel you. You know, I've mm -hmm. I heard a couple of times that people, I, people that have seen me dance, cried and stuff like that. I never understood until you're going through something. The person's movements bring that type of emotion out of you. So. Mm -hmm. That's a, that was always double about being a part of the me and those uh, different emotions when I danced and um, feeling those emotions. Right. So yeah, man, that's as far as my come on go. That's actually that's really it. It's, it's been us, that core, um, Merce all core, O eight, Black Widow, Tank Girl, uh, Prince Outrage, who his name is Sav. Mm -hmm. Actually, don't dance no more either. Just that, just that core stats. A uh, couple other dancers from Arkansas. That's all we really had. So uh, after that, we just spread out like wildfire. Come for us, just 
Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, that's so, man. It's like, bro, coming from, you know, Cali, you know what I'm saying? It's like hearing everybody that I've been talking to lately, you know, of course, you know, it's crump, you know, now, you know, it's everywhere. But, bro, to hear places like Arkansas, bro, Milwaukee, it's like, man, everybody, bro, this crump overseas, bro. Crump just took over, man. It's honestly, if people don't want to admit it, but it's right now, it's the most popular dance worldwide. I know a lot of people yeah, don't admit it, but it is, bro. This is taking over right. everywhere, bro. You know, and it's dope to Good see point, like, cats like you just I think, involved in this, bro. I think, I think it's, it's like, you know, you don't really look at, when you're okay, I put it like this: When you're young and you're always told to follow your dreams, you know, mm -hmm. and you never know what those things dreams gonna be. Whether it's for the NFL, be a doctor, lawyer, things like that. People really don't respect Dan being a dancer as a dream, you know, mm -hmm. because one, there's no, there's no rich and famous dancer out here living up, buying cars with big houses. No, it's really not like that. Unless you like, I don't even think the Les Twins are doing that. Mm -hmm. But even if so, you know, look how long it took them to be put on. But I just feel like for the most part with Arkansas, it's kind of hard because all we honestly Arkansas is kind of known for football. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what we know by basketball now. But so when you hear a dancer coming out of Arkansas, you a lot of like, oh, no, yeah, they're garbage. They're, they're garbage. And then when you hear a crumper out of Arkansas, it's even more, the you know, downgrading because. Not only don't you do what we know for you, do something that nobody knows for. So, so now it's like it's a little crazy, but you know that's the type of path that I feel like we all face when we coming from small cities that do such something that that's minuscule to other people's minds as far as crumb goes. Because it went from us dancing in a church and crumping in a church, short short scale in the city, to us being booked to go to Houston and dance in front of. The hundred thousand people, like it's it's hundred thousand people in these pool, pool pits, and they're watching us crump. Mm -hmm. But that's our story. Compared to that, to crump in California, those OGs and vets that paved the way for us to go to Germany, uh, battle life feed, music videos, be featured with T Pain, mm -hmm. like like Ride and uh, Rascal was. Mm -hmm. so that's that that for me, kind of like, oh, I can do this, right? And it's, and that's, that's it's, bro, it's, it was also dope that even as far as like giving people, you know, uh, inspiration, like seeing some of the like the uh, OGs, even into movies like Rise, yeah. um, Stomp the Yard, bro. You got one of the step up movies, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's dope to see like people from all culture in big stream, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at uh, for example, Miss Prissy, she you know, just did her movie, you got eyes on there, just. You know what he's uh doing in the movement, man. It's just Trump, man. I'm just happy to be a part of it, bro. Happy. Like I said, bro, it's, it's so crazy to hear that it's dancers, not just dancers, but like crumpers in Arkansas, bro. Because it went like you said, yeah. think of Arkansas. Only thing I could think of is like that's like a football, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would never thought like dancing is coming from that that place, but you know what I'm saying? So as far as like you're dancing, like let everybody know some like crazy battles or recent battles that you know been in or had some good experience with. Um, I think, ooh, I think the my, well, me and my uh, ladies' favorite battle because at the time we was just, you know, the bad guys. <laughs> we just we were just bad guys. We we're, we're basically um. Me versus Twin Mad Hatter, which happened at Desert Storm Three, mm -hmm. um, and that was my toughest toughest battle. That's what that's kind of why I kind of still celebrate to this day because I had everybody against me and the odds was like super stacked against me. Had people going on live, oh Brill's about to lose. This is gonna be crazy. Oh, he's gonna run around him, and and you know to hear people bash your name and shit like that. It's it, it's 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 crazy, you know what I'm saying? It happens, you know, that's what Crump is. Crump is very competitive. Mm -hmm. Um, but I believe for sure after really giving the crump world I that basically me and I introduced myself who I was to the crump world that day. Mm -hmm. And they saw it, I guess they saw it for what it was and accepted it and it kinda, you know, made me feel like, you know, I'm not just out here dancing. I, I have 
I have a legacy to leave. I have right. something to prove to myself, and this was my point of proving it. And I, I, I low key cried. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was like that was most, one of my most triumphant moments because I stood in the heat of everybody else face to face with people that really didn't like me and said what, and nobody could do nothing about it. So that was pretty much my one of my favorite battles. But I don't know, like this year. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's something in the air. I don't know if it's because I'm a cannon now, but I like really been having some, 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 some come up. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of impressed myself with what I got coming out and stuff like that. But just re rebranding and being patient. Mm -hmm. Honestly, with these last couple of battles I had, man, it's really dope. Right, man. That's that's fire, bro. Even hearing your story, so. You know, you just recently or have been, you know, joining the Cannon fam, who is everybody knows like one of the best dancers in the world, not just Crump. Does oh, everybody yeah. know like your experience as far as like joining his fam? Uh, being a Cannon, actually, actually, tell you the truth, was never on my bucket list. Never on my bucket list. Um, he he's actually my uh my wife's best friend. Um, so I've known I've known him out of Crump. For a long time in crump a long time out of crump a long time because actually uh 2013 when i first met cannon uh i had them going crazy that was my one of my rookie, i think it was my rookie one of my rookie years back from crump and i battled and they was there him and solo with crush mm -hmm. and he just you know me and me and chopping up every sense and then um kind of still making my way you know rebranding myself and then me and cannon talked chopped it up about some things in real life and we just kind of Hit it off the roof, bro. And was like, hey, you know what, bro? Boom, boom, boom. He asked, yeah. It's funny because they asked, they asked me to go in the back real quick in my own house. Cannon stood in my house, my own house. They said, hey, bro, go in the back room real quick. My wife's like, yeah, go back there real quick. All right. And they had a whole family conversation. It's like, you know, what y'all feel like bringing them, bringing them on and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, came back out the room and said, hey, bro, you a Cannon now. And ever since then, bro, been nothing but nothing short of a, a friend, a big homie. I don't even call him big homie. That's how crazy connected we are. You know what I'm saying? That's really important to me. Family, when you when you're young and coming up in Crump, it's all about it's all about kind of stature and where that person that you're trying to be under is in Crump and what their accolades is, who they beat. That shit kind of lame. Mm -hmm. I know that now. So for me now that I have kids, it's kind of like that family thing. When I'm done with Crump, who are we gonna still be cool? You know, and that's something that Cannon has always shown me he is available to do and willing to do for me and my family. So. I'll bro nothing but nothing short than loyalty. Right. It's been crazy ever since. Right, man. That's fire, man. Like I said, bro, Cannon is actually one of my favorite dancers. You know what I'm saying? And this is dope. This yo, bro, this is one of the reasons why I like doing this, because you get to see a side of people like that you never even, you know, would even come across. Or say if I might see you at a session, you know what I'm saying, and make you people more acquainted. And it's like it's dope just to get to know, you know what other people got going on in Crump, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of, like, as far as, like, I hear you mentioning, like, you know, you being your wife and, with your wife and stuff. So let everybody know, like, kind of, like, what what's life like outside of Crump, like, from a different uh, a dancer, like, what's your life like? You know what I'm saying? Um, Life outside of Crump, for me, it's kind of surreal. And I say that because you don't really see a lot of true – crump couples when i say true crump couples i'm talking about the woman that is active in crump and the man is active in crump right you don't see a lot of those mm -hmm. and if you do they kind of fail relationships because they got together because of crump in the first place mm -hmm. nothing no no real connection was there other than dan which is a cool connection to have but sometimes when dan stops what else other connections do you have me and her were friends at first um i made fun of her and then but it grew from friendship to something else, and then boom, one kid later, <laughs> we uh, we in this thing. But um, I nothing. I'm just a normal, funny, laid back person, bro. Like honestly, I come home from work, and I do. Um, I'm actually a human resources uh, expert at uh, Target. You know, I do that day to day. And then my wife, she does. She does a. She's a uh, not a dance studio owner, but she teaches at the dance studio with the uh about to open up a whole nail salon oh wow that's and smart. Then, yeah and she just passed state board we're proud about that i'm actually about to start uh 
myself, she actually inspired me to kind of just start, you know, using my talent for what it is and kind of make making market with that. So I'm gonna start selling hats here really soon, tapping into that market and uh, other other merch um, other than that. But life for me as a father is amazing. I have a daughter and a son, seven and Aaron, and that man. That's why that's who I really go hard for it. And then they I offer this crumb stuff and with them being there while I'm laughing or, you know, dancing and them watching me smile, watch them watching me dance and smiling while I'm dancing. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of surreal, but you know, uh, that's the, 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 the kind of like stuff I look forward to is being a father is being able to inspire my kids to go after what they want mm -hmm. and live their life the way they want to and chase their dreams, no matter what dream it is, you know, I don't care what you do. As long as you're pursuing what you want to do, then I'm fine with it. All right. Yeah, bro, that's, man, that's so dope, bro, just to hear. Man, first of all, bro, I want to, you know, pay homage to you and your family because, man, now nowadays, bro, to have a, you know, especially an African-American, bro, to, you know, come online and, you know, let everybody know, like, you know, with you being married and, you know, being a dad, man, because there's so many fathers out here that don't get the proper respect, bro, especially African-Americans, bro, that, that's holding down, you know, a family. That's a husband, bro, and a father, you know what I'm saying? And still doing what he loved to do, you know, on the side, bro. So, I, you know, I definitely salute you, bro. I salute your wife, you. you know. Both of y'all, you know, coming together in this, you know, making a strong family, bro. Man, I'm just so happy to hear that because, like I said, man, it's a lot of, you know, this stigma of, you know, black fathers and this not positive male, you know, in the world. So, you know, man, I'm just happy to hear that, man. And you know, much love and blessings to you, your family, the kids, and man, y'all keep staying strong and keep setting an example, you know, that it's cool oh, to, to be married. It's cool to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Be out in the street. It's cool to go to work, you know what I'm saying? Come home, be a dad, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, what's wild, what's, what's wild is that you look at your peers as you grow up in, in Crump, like I did. Like I looked at a couple of my peers, um, uh, Tashan, I looked at him. I looked at my uncle Disco. I looked at um, a couple other people that I watched, you know, growing up at Crump that I was really friends and stuff. Even though, and I won't tell him this to his face, but Tashan low key inspired me to even want to think about marriage again after my um, some other stuff happened. Mm -hmm. um, because he stayed so steadfast and he stayed so solid on his decision on, you know what I'm saying, not to. You know, speak of my, my the homie's personal business, but he, he really did inspire me, you know, to really just, uh, <laughs> Matrix <laughs> is his dad's name. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, man, just, uh, he inspired me. My brother, Merce, inspired me, you know, so much beauty and um, beauty behind marriage that's lost right. through generations because people are trying to be that it guy. and yep. think that having different girls everywhere was cool. And, you know, we all go through that stage. Right. You realize that, you know what I'm saying? Like you got examples, like your kids and other people that look up to you, especially if you start to become their favorite person to do anything as far as artistry or anything goes, even dancing. We got kids that tell me sometimes, hey man, I look up to you. That right there meant a lot to me. I think Spartan um, pulled me to the side one day and was like, uh, now that we're older in the game, you know, it's not about you, it's about the, it's about the younger generation. Mm -hmm. So everything, I, every move that I make now, I make for my kids or, or, the, or the younger generation because I want to leave something behind that people can say, oh, your brim's had a hand in pulling this pillar together as far as crumb goes. Mm -hmm. And that's really dope about being around um, people that in your circle or surrounding circle that, you know, that you look up to in any type of way and watching them grow up make you really appreciate things like marriage and relationships and right. loyalty and things like mm -hmm. that. So, I, yeah, man, antics too. Mm -hmm. antics to him for sure man that man is a true inspiration example for sure for the south side yeah man that's dope Ow, to hear. real dope to hear man and salute the spartan you know what i'm saying for you know even you know this being like you know this uh, a stand-up dude for even pulling you to the side and giving you that knowledge because yeah. you know what i'm saying we all we all have our own path to life bro but if we got knowledge bro it's like yo don't keep your knowledge in man shoot that knowledge to someone else and then we can start breaking like some of these generational curse bro as far as like not just african americans or or just being a man bro because yeah. you know I mean? a lot of people bro they think it's oh. 
cool to be a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like me giving advice to you or you giving advice to me that can help me, uh, you know, help raise some of my, you know, my kids or help me, you know, just, just give advice to somebody else. So, bro. Bro, I've learned not to, I've learned, honestly, I've learned not to care where my advice comes from because we put age, let me, let's, uh, age restrictions on advice mm -hmm. because a person not older than us means they don't know as much as us. Mm -hmm. I've learned stuff from a nine-year-old. <laughs> I've learned, I got an advice from a nine-year-old, not face-to-face -face, like YouTube stuff like these, like he was a motivational Jamaican guy, a little kid mm -hmm. from, I think from New York, through like, you know, just going over some advice. I'm like, dang, this is stuff we forgot about as kids that could really be used helpful to us as adults now, but we forgot about it. Mm -hmm. And it's, he was like saying a lot of stuff. So like, advice if god given can't come from anywhere well advice well advice um evil can come anywhere else but you know <laughs> right right you can hear it there right man. but you know just i just always you know wherever anybody any some information anybody got from me because i'm like a i'm a student to being a father i'm not perfect i got still got to learn still i'm not the best uh partner i'm not the best financial advisor i'm the best worker but I, and it's always something I can learn from that. So I don't care where advice comes from, as long as it gets to me and I can reciprocate it and give it out to people, then that's what it's supposed to be. It's what it's supposed to be in like that in Crump, but yeah, you know, we got we got some we got some bumps to yeah. Well, we gonna get there. Yeah, we gotta, we facts, get there. bro. That's definitely facts, man. Crump. The only thing you know that I always get you know a little bit upset far as with Crump, bro, is like it turned into more politics instead of. You know, people just getting off and just spreading, you know, just spreading the movement, man. Right now, hopefully it could change, but it's just crazy politics, bro. But, you know, it stuff is. like, fam, like, name some dope events, bro, that's, like, either you've been a part of or that's coming up, like, as far as, like, I know uh, a lot of people talking about, that, like, the Hype Factory and all that. Kind of let everybody know. Yes, sir. For people. Um, the Hype Factory, for sure. My... My high factory, well, let me take this back. One of my best friends, John John and DC, shout out to DC, they always throw some of their best events from mm -hmm. the system to the sessions they have every Monday to uh, Wasteland to High Factory. You know, they always go above and beyond for people who come out and show support. And DC has always been a family to my family as well. So anytime I get a chance, I know support. But John John being more family, that's my guy. Um, so High Factory could be crazy. I'm actually. I'm actually so mad that I can't go, but you know, you, when you face like <laughs> real life adversity, you'd be like, damn, you know, I'm gonna have to let this one, I'm gonna sit on this one, but right. you know, I'm gonna go to the next one, but I'm excited for that footage. I'm definitely getting that live stream. I'm excited for a couple of those battles, actually. Um, I think it's, any Lady C4 Medusa? I think it is. That battle I'm excited for. And I'm excited for um, Cocky Kid and uh, X-Ray. That's mm -hmm. going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. And then um, Tiny Eyes and Boulevard going to be crazy. And then, of course, John John and um, Shady going to be crazy. Those, mm -hmm. those all, like, all but battles. battles that, 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 those battles that I'm not going to appreciate as much because I'm not in person. Yeah. That's the bit of me being honest. I'm be so I'm gonna be so mad watching it, but I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm watching it. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people that haven't actually been to like a real, real, real crump event. Like I be telling my little homies because you know they really don't get out the town, you know, the city that we live in. But I always tell them like, yo, it's different from watching this shit on YouTube to actually being in in an event. Man, you 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 feeling someone's emotion? You feeling the the uh emotion of a crowd bro you actually can see the you know expressions bro like you can you can feel the tension bro it's like yo man it's like something it's, like it's different than watching it's, on youtube yeah it's seeing a session like how like how seeing a session on youtube is cool and sometimes you can get a feel for it but to experience that raw like when a person can jump into a session and turn around the whole mood of a session mm -hmm. i remember being at a session in Vegas, um, it was all sessioning, and then it was all good energy, you know, all good vibes. And then eyes jumped in that session, and like, you can tell, like nobody wanted to move. It was like, 
Oh, uh, I even I ain't gonna lie. I had my fan voice, so I ain't gonna lie. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going crazy. <laughs> like it's odd, odd. You know, you don't appreciate your creators until you in their presence in, in person. I'm just grateful that eyes accepted me as a person I am when he saw me. And when he jabbed for the first time in real life, I kind of like, like, he's going to hit me, but that man is that fast in real life. Mm -hmm. Miho is that powerful in real life. Yeah. Like, Solo is that smooth, that put together in, that, in real life. Mm -hmm. Pico is that savvy in real life. Like, And it's so crazy that they, you know, that a lot of people won't ever get to see those those OGs and vets sessions. All they'll have is YouTube, but at least they'll have it. I just wish, I just want everybody to ever even hear about Crump. Right. Get to a session. Get to an event. You ain't got to be a part of the card. Just be there. And I Either. promise you, you're going to have a great, you're going to have a dope time. You're going to feel something. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel something because Crump just, that feeling is just overall just a different type of feeling. Yeah, man. That, I tell my, I tell a lot of people, bro, it's, it's, it's different, you know what I'm saying, when you can experience that type of seeing, like, especially some of your favorite dancers, bro. If you seeing them in real life instead of you growing up watching them YouTube and DVDs and then you in the flesh and you be like, yo, it's like breathtaking, bro. It's like, like, say, for example, it's like us seeing like a LeBron James or Michael Jordan or Patrick Mahomes or you know one of your favorite royalties and you going and study you've been spending all these years bro watching them on TV then you actually go to a, a real game or something like that like that's the same feeling bro real dope man. real dope man, man. Really so since we're on the topic as far as like being uh you know seeing people in flesh and everything give me your top five uh crumpers uh of all, all time of all time man, it don't matter it don't matter what era. It could be new era, old era. Just give me, like, your five crumpers that you was like, yo, man, no matter what, these niggas is beyond dope, bro. It, it could be anybody, bro. Who, who would you put in your top five? My top five crumpers of all time, I'll say that inspired. I'll say that the ones that inspired me and my style. Mm -hmm. um, Ugly Fate. Um... Uh, Mad Hatter. Yeah. Um, Crush. Uh, Cannon. And, uh, of course, uh, my brother. Uh, Merce. Salute to Merce. Also, Merce. Uh, I, I really look at, when, I, when you go through my YouTube and find out what footage I'm watching, I'm breaking them down the most. And adding what they kind of give, that I can feel like I add to my style down and adding to myself the most when it comes to level change and power, uh, material combos, uh, overall mood, changing moves, the session, how, you know, just all around dopeness. That's really who I look at as far as my style goes. Yeah, bro, that's a fire list, bro. Fire list. Another, qu another question I'm going to throw at you. If you can battle anybody, bro, it don't matter if it's crump, any kind of dance, they dead or alive, bro. If you could battle just one person, bro, who would you pick? It don't even have to be crump. Or it could also be crump, too. Like, it could be anybody. Michael Jackson, James Brown, bro, anybody. Who would oh, you want man. to test your, your skills and your dance, you know, form versus anybody? Like, who would it be? Or it could be a crump or two. Um, I, actually, I got a list. I got a, like three. I got it's like D boys. I always wanted to battle. I have a crumper, a popper. I was wanted to battle. I have a crumper that I'm actually currently trying to battle, but I haven't done enough in order to call him out yet. Um, I know B boy Junior was somebody I wanted to battle for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as uh, that goes, um, with um, with Crump, and all, and I'm only saying this because he got me so long ago like he got me he like everybody has a battle that when you think about it, it's kind of cringy to watch because how bad you lost mm -hmm. and so i gotta get my lick back but um antics kick my butt yo he's so underrated part my oh my god he kicked my butt so bad that 
I think I disappeared for the rest of that crumb uh, weekend. I didn't want to be seen by nobody. I went actually, I went, I drove back that night to college. I didn't want to be here no more. I didn't want to be in Texas no more. And to this day, I kind of still look at that footage and be like, bro, I will never be looking like I would never like a deer in headlights because of that again. Um, I think as far as all styles go, I still want to battle B Dash because off the off the Crump legacy and the all style thing he's doing right now, mm -hmm. like, just all around, overall, overall great dancer. I would love to battle B Dash. Yeah, man. Yo, B Dash is fire, bro. I, yo, every clip that they put on IG, bro, I'm always on it, bro. Yo, Boy, so I, dope I, I try, I try to tap, but it'd be like, <laughs> so dope. I'm about to see. That's the crazy thing. I be, I be wanting to be, I want to double tap, but if I know I'm gonna try to battle them later on, I be, nah, I'm, I'm gonna battle you first before I like anything. So I be scrolling past. <laughs> yeah, fire, bro. So like, if say like, um, I was just trying to get my feet wet into crump. You know what I'm saying? I never danced before. I'm just trying to like get involved in crump. What would be some of the advice that you would give me as far as like off of your experience, like training wise, who's some dope people that you can get knowledge from, like how to properly lap, like let people know. So like if those who's watching this, who's not familiar with Crump and wanted to get into it, like, you know, kind of let them know as far as like your background experience, like where they can get motivated mm -hmm. to dance. Um, first and foremost, something that I would give advice I would give the new generation, anybody who even thinking about crumping was know yourself first mm -hmm. and develop it. Give, your, give yourself time to develop first before you go out here and start picking up big homie names because nine out of 10 up until you're like fourth year, your style going to continually change and it's going to continually change until you master who you are. So, um, I would say know yourself, know who you are, um, and hold yourself to a high standard. You know what I'm saying? Don't just get under anybody just because you can, because that, that road is, was easy. You know, really pick where you want to go. And even if you don't pick nobody at all, because a lot of people, you don't have to be. Some, some of the great dancers we know today don't have to be little on them. They could literally make a legacy and stride off their own name alone. Mm -hmm. And you might be coming to a crump. You might be one of those people who need to be shown that, hey, bro, you got something special. I don't think you want to conceal this under somebody. Right. So that's why I always say, please find out who you are in crump and then go from there. Then go, then I asked myself, I went to, when I really started learning Myself, I went to people like LeVar. I went to um, Encore. I went to Odd. I went to uh, Ruin. Um, just, just to type, kind of pick their head about how they did things. Um, and then I, uh, as far as overall get off, I went to Antics. I went to Disco. I went to um, Al Watson, uh, who was kind of like the godfather in the South of Crump. And I asked, I picked their brains, and then um, it just it just depends on where you see yourself, kind of, you know what I'm saying, making a mark for yourself in Crump, because you, you got, street, like, street dancers, you got, uh, what do they call them, event dancers, mm -hmm. session dev dancers, and then there's, um, I think that's it, event, uh, event dancers and the street dancers and uh, session dancers. And that that kind of will put your mind where it needs to be uh, as far as that goes. But if you are in a good crump community, like if you were in Arizona and you want to start dancing, then go to your leaders for sure because you're in the right direction. Because like I said, like I'm trying to do, they already probably been there, done that. And it could possibly be um, a good decision for you as well because you want to you want a leader in your crump community to be as active as you are. Which is why uh, I always go to dead end about anything I got going on. That's like my brother. If I got some moves, hey, bro, this move going to hit. What you think? You know what I'm saying? Him being a brother of mine, he's going to be like, oh, bro, it's going to hit. Oh, bro, no, that's, that's, that's trash. You know, to have that type of bond with somebody in your community is always dope. So just um, depending on where you are, who you are, and uh, find your purpose as well. Right.
your your purpose is it your purpose and your meaning for dancing or why you do the things you do or how you move the way you move why is that because people are going to automatically ask why at the end of the day and it'd be dope um to give them a really dope story mm -hmm. you know about the reasons why you dance yo cannon I, I see that cannon uh your big homie cannon what's good jay he said he been late but yo cannon bro I, uh it's gonna be on my page and it's gonna be on the spotify and youtube so you know i'll tag you in the um link so you can find out this interview brody i gotta get you on here one of these days too bro hey, cannon's up oh, yeah. bro cannon's up almost definitely that's a fact you feel me <laughs> cannon's up bro that's a dope you know, squad, man. As far as like since since Cannon on uh you know he's part of like the district and everything, man. Let everybody mm -hmm. know like what's going on as far as like um more groups, like what kind of like auto name some of the groups that y'all got in uh A Z currently that's some dope uh dancers or you know, some heavy hitters. Oh man. Um A Z is actually a really good Club community. Um, of course, Dead End, who is a part of Black Hearts. He's also in the all style scene, he's a part of the Jukebox Dance community as well. Um, he's great. He's great. Then you have uh, Scrap, who's an OG out here. He's he's uh, Young Crowns, I believe. Bro is amazing. And then you have, you know, you got Serious Fam out here. They do their thing. And then Dead End Fam, they do their, man. Like, it's a lot of, a lot of, variety as far as dancers go out here everybody's style ain't the same and that's really tight about the community nobody will come to the, to the session with the same style and that's really dope everybody move like themselves um skills is out here skills is crazy uh some i actually i i actually enjoy the rookies more than a lot of things because the rookies out here are some of the best rookies in crunk period to me i don't consider her a rookie <laughs> but my girl uh queen cannon um little crush girl crush uh girl and girl end no princess end lady end um monster end like it's a baby end like it's a bunch of dead ends out here that's and they're not and they they really out here like that i really out here like that like it's so you'll see different groups like them and then of course the overall crumb groups like black hearts is out here of course with ronnie and little crush being black hearts mm -hmm. and you have wonder woman out here that's a uh, girl crush lady and queen and uh little and and queen cannon are a part of wonder woman um and then myself i'm hs and then you got some dc members out here as well from tucson i think as well i believe from tucson that so we have a wide variety and a great collection of groups and you know people but we all one big happy family bro like it's really all dope when we all get together we, we just you know come together talk get off together leave go to denny's or ahab or something like that so the crump out here is crump community like here is really dope yeah bro that's that's so fire bro and salute to all those people that you name man i know some people that's watching this you know y'all not kind of familiar with the names like you know how we is but yo if y'all can, man, you know, go on YouTube or follow any any one of us, you know what I'm saying, and uh, check out these dope dancers because whether y'all believe it or not, man, like I said earlier, Crump is right now is the by far the best dance out. It's so raw, so emotion, bro. It's like, this is like, this is, it's taking over right now, man. A lot this of people, crazy. It's, it's and you know, it's crazy. Got, a lot of people think people. like when you speak crump, like they thinking like stop the yard, but no, man, everybody really got to be in tune with crump, man. I feel like, yeah, I think, I think, it's, I think everybody been doing that lately. Um, my boss recently just asked me what type of stance, what type of style of dancing I do. Um, and I told him, told her and she was like, I want to see, and I'm like, I'm not going to show you right now. She's like, oh, I'm not just going to, I don't want you to show me right now. Cause you probably break something like, what do you think Crump is? <laughs> well, like what video they've been watching? So she she pulls up. Um, what did I think it was a bringing on when this this girl, this little white girl, was in there just. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's not what we do anymore. <laughs> we, don't do uh -huh. anymore. <laughs> we don't do none of that. Don't ever, don't do that. Don't do that. No. But no, nah, today it's it's crazy that people still really tell us like even my mom be like you still out there uh gyrating gyrating your legs and like mama it's called crump you've known this a while now come on man. right 
Yeah, bro. So before we end, end, end off this dope interview, bro, kind of uh, let people know how, like, Crump changed your life, uh, you know, because a lot of people, um, I want to, I like to ask these questions because it's some people that, you know, Crump is just like, everybody's saying is like, I used to be like this too, like, Crump is just my life and that's all that is, but, you know, mm -hmm. hearing hearing it from you and other people like this, let everybody know, like, you know, how Crump impacted your life, you know, whether good or bad, you know, let you people know about some of your, you know, good experience that you had in Crump, far as like traveling, the people that you met, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I will say Crump, I am one of those people who says Crump is life because Crump definitely for me, it's life because I want to make money off of this. I want to provide for my family from this. So I'm working in order to do that. Um, Crumb changed my life for the good because it showed me responsibility, marketing, how to step outside my box. I used to be such a big introvert, man, where, and you can't really, you can, you can but you can't, you won't be as successful if you're an uh, introvert, you know, um, it's cool to um, let people in, but only a certain amount of people, like only a couple of people, you know, you don't want to met, let the whole crumb world in. And that was my one of my biggest downfalls, letting the whole crumb world in. But, you know, we, we shook back from that. But um, I think without, I think as far as crumb goes, um, I've traveled like forty states because of Crump. I've 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 been on uh, been places my mom you know wanted to go and I've taken went to those places like in New York and stood on top of the Empire State Building and did that for my mom and that did happen because of Crump. Um, I met my wife because of Crump. I have a daughter now. Like it's a lot that Crump has given me that i'm very 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 thankful for so crump literally for me is everything but it also showed me that you know you really can't you know crump also showed me you really can't trust everybody <laughs> honestly everybody <laughs> and so but you know that's either here that's that's the life altogether but for me with crump being my life i have to say that's a big part of it because you know you let definitely taught me how to stay um within myself and my circle. Yeah, bro, man, that's so dope, bro. Yeah, bro, man, like, like I said, bro, man, is this, it's so happy, you know, I'm so happy this is still be a part of Crump, you know, even though I don't dance. And I think it's dope that like, cats like y'all still even allow me to do interviews. Cause you know, like I when we was talking about earlier, you know, Crump is still with politics and for y'all, you know, for me to still be able to interview y'all and y'all, you know, telling everybody y'all experience, you know what I'm saying? Is this, is this dope, bro? And you know, this how you build relationships, bro, and keep spreading oh, this movement, bro. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, bro. I'm, I'm here for it, man. I'm grateful you allowed me to be on the show. I really uh, appreciate it, man, for real, for real. Because uh, I want to just, just off of Crump, you know, anything that's black owned black you know black label you know i definitely want to put my hands and be a part of and support you know if you were to charge for the for the interview i was like hey man you know boom you know because i believe in giving back to the culture as well as you know help us support those who are our people you know what i'm saying so you know anything you got bro coming out coming soon you you could be looking for me i'll share it you know and uh, support and give it 100% support as I can. Uh, I know people out here watching this, they probably gonna give you some support, support as well. Go make sure y'all subscribe to Bro Channel. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely outlook for good outlook for Crump, good thing for Crump, man. Even if, if it's not Crump, because I see bro got on the got on the Duke sweatshirt. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? You know, trying to see if you're a real trying to see if you're a real fan or not, bro. Because uh, yeah, we've been rocking this for a long time, man. So yeah. you, you a real fan of Duke? Oh. Yes. Man, man, you can ask everybody, bro. Duke is like my life, bro. That's my squad right there. Yeah, man. man this Coach K's, this Coach K last season, bro. Hopefully, we can cut down the nets. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We, uh, yes, sir. That's all we're looking for. That's yeah, and and I want to let everybody know that, um, you know, also on my channel, I got sports. 
You know what I'm saying? I talk about real life. Like uh, a couple of days ago, I, I did a, a mental health awareness um, episode. Like, bro, any anything, everybody that's got going on, especially, you know, like you said, us, you know, our black people, bro. Like I do on Tuesday nights, bro. I do, um, except for tonight, I do ladies nights where it's just strictly for the ladies to come on my uh, podcast, bro. And let everybody know what they got going on and vibe out, give like motherly advice. You know, if they got like uh, salons, you know what I'm saying? It's like anything, bro. So you can let your wife know, like, because I know you said she does open up a nail salon. So, you know what I'm saying? Even if you could let her know about, you know, on my ladies nights, you know, come on and, you know, even drop some, you know, gems on how to, uh, you know, build a business and stuff like that. So, yeah, bro, I got oh, yeah. on my channel. Sure. I got everything for everybody, bro. It's for everybody, bro. No, I, I, I promise you, by the time this is over with, you're going to have some more inboxes because I, I'm going to definitely plug the homies in. I know I got a cousin on here right now who do some um some home renovating. Mm -hmm. He on here right now. I got people in my inbox. They just hit me asking me to, you know, shout them out. So <laughs> Yeah, man. Yo, bro. Bro, salute to everybody, bro, that's tuning in, bro. Salute to you. And like like I said, bro, uh, for those who couldn't catch the full show, you know what I'm saying, it also goes on my Spotify and YouTube, but you know, once I upload it, you know, I'll send all the links and everything to you. That way, you know, you can be spreading everything out, bro. Yo, bro, tell everybody that everyone is welcome. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what tier dancer you are, bro. This is for everybody, bro. Oh, bro, Phil's out. He'll be back. Oh, man, he fizzed out. We'll get him back, though. Yeah, man, salute to everybody that's tuning in, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is Crump Talk, episode four, with the homie Brims, a.k.a. Kid Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for everybody, you know, for the support. All y'all got to do, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel. But, yeah, man. And for all the ladies that's watching and tuning in, Ladies Night is back on full force next Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? It's strictly for the ladies. I know it's a lot of dope women out there that got businesses, you know, hair salon. They can talk about motherhood, give relationship advice, everything, man. But you know what I'm saying? Thanks for everybody that's tuning in and continue to support Beyond Reality Podcast. And y'all know my slogan, man. I'm just a man that like to talk about reality. Peace.